Hey guys, Doc. Today we're going to talk about lawn growth regulators. We're going to go over a very specific product. It's a kind of a new product. It's a granular product and it simplifies growth regulators for the average homeowner. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, so I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks and I see some questions pop up and I'm going to answer some of the common questions. Before, you, before I go forward, there's going to be a link in the description that's going to take you to a page on our website that's devoted to this. And it's going to have instructions on there. Uh, it's going to have a link to the product. So make sure, click subscribe, and then you can go to that link and, and find out more information. But I'm going to cover some specific information that you need to understand before you actually start using this product. Rule number one. <laughs> Um, you do not use a growth regulator until you're happy with your lawn. So if you've done a scalp, uh, you wait until that scalp grows back up and you're happy with it, then you hit it with a growth regulator. If you have had lawn damage, you wait till that grows up and repairs, then you hit it with growth regulator. Because basically what's going to happen, and I'll show you here in a minute, growth regulator, it sort of blocks a hormone in the grass that controls vertical growth. Um, so it's going to be slow to grow. It's going to be slow to repair. So you want to make sure that your lawn is just right. So what we did back here, I'm going to be fighting bugs. What we did back here is we did a summer scalp. We took it way down and we've let it come back up. We've been cutting it every 48 hours at half an inch. And I'm pretty happy with it. There's still a couple areas over here, but they're going to take forever. So I'm like, I got to stop cutting this grass. So I applied it today. Rule number two, you apply growth regulator during the growing season. So for Bermuda grass, that's gonna be basically all season long. After the spring, once your grass is established and you're happy with it, then you can start applying it and apply it all the way through and you stop your applications 60 days before the cold weather hits because your Bermuda is gonna slow down anyways, so you don't wanna interfere with the winterization process of the Bermuda. So you shut it off about 60 days before your cold weather comes in. On, I've been working with Anderson's on sort of a cheat sheet, and if you order through the link below, it's gonna come with a cheat sheet card that we've developed for you guys that makes it a little bit easier, and it talks about application rates. So if you have, there's a difference between um, hybrid Bermuda or improved Bermuda. So if you have a seed like a Tifway or a Blackjack or a Yukon, or if you have a quality, high quality seed that replicates a hybrid sod, then you would put it out at about two pounds per thousand square feet. If you have sod lawn, so if you moved, bought your house and had sod, two pounds per thousand. If you have common Bermuda grass, you're gonna probably go about double that rate. They say five per thousand square feet. I think you can get by. We tested across the street and I think you can get by with about three to four pounds per thousand square feet. <clears throat> and then there's also fescue on there. There's fescue and cool season numbers on there as well too. Now, I did figured out a way to make it a little bit easier for you guys too because not everybody has a scale at the house. So what I did is I did a conversion. Um, to figure out how many pounds you need to put out, one gallon of this, so I'll put a link to a gallon, cheap gallon jug. You can go to Walmart for three bucks and buy a gallon jug. You should always have something. Find one gallon jug. That is six pounds, four ounces. So let's just say it's about six pounds. So if you need to put out 12 pounds of this and you can't figure out how much of the bag, you can just go in and get two gallons. That'll be 12 pounds. Three gallons will be 18 pounds. You got it? So if you need about 19, 20 uh, pounds to do your lawn, three gallons will put you out about 19, 18, 19 pounds, somewhere around there. So it's a little cheap method. I figured that was a real good way to do it. And that's the way I do it. Um, I actually fill up my little gallon jug and I go six pounds, six pounds, six pounds, six pounds. That's 24 pounds. I have 10,000 square feet just over back here. That's the perfect amount, two pounds per thousand square feet. So 10,000 square feet times two, that's gonna give me 20 pounds that I need. 20 pounds so I put up four it's just over that actually so I put in just about four gallons that gave me 24 pounds and I'm, I'm perfect okay so I'm gonna talk to you real quick and let you understand how this product works this product does not break down it is not a DG particle it is not a particle that actually dissolves it just stays there it does not dissolve in water and you can test this yourself 
you can get a bowl and you can sprinkle some in and come back six hours later and guess what you'll see? The particles just sitting there. This is a contact transfer. So here's how I developed a little method. So I developed this and Anderson's really liked it. You come out early morning when there's a dew. Wait for a dew and I'm gonna show you me doing this here in a minute. There's a dew all over the grass. You put out your light application and what I recommend is, is you try, it's hard to do this, you try and put out half your rate one direction and then half your rate your other direction. And it's very hard to do that. Even I messed it up. I'm going to show you. I thought I had my hole small enough to put out half rate and I wasn't. I was putting out a fall rate. These particles look like sugar almost. They're very, very small. So you have to have your spreader opening at barely an eighth of an inch if you're going to do that half rate application most of the time. So you're going to have to play with it. But that's the important part about weighing it. You'll understand how much you're putting out. But when you put it out on the dew, it sort of sticks to the blades. And what you get is you get a foliar transfer, which is a good way for this product to transfer into the, into the, into the plant. But a real effective way that this product actually transfers into the uh, plant, there's research on this, by the way, is the base of the plant. So when this, when this product contacts the base of the plant, you get a real good transfer to the actual plant. When the, we don't water it in, you do not water this in. Um, the root transfer is very ineffective. Only about 5% of the product will actually transfer in via the roots. You get a, a over 50% transfer at the base, and I think it's like a 40 to 50% foliar or something like that. So, and they did a bunch of the testing on this study that I was reading. Uh, where they actually took it and uh, they treated it, washed it off, measured the content of it. It's pretty cool. As the dew dries, um, it'll actually drop down to the base of the plant. So you want to make sure you want to cut your grass before you do this because you don't want to come out here and cut afterwards because you'll move the product. Now with a real mower, that's not a big deal. Um, but with a regular rotary or riding mower, you are going to move it. So you do not want to cut your grass for at least 48 hours after this application. So how long does it take for you to see results? Uh, you will start to see results from what we measured, I would say five to seven, five to 10 days, somewhere in there. What ends up happening is, is because you're cutting your lawn, you really don't notice it. When we let some areas grow up, we really saw some noticeable results around, I mean, visual results cutting wise around 12 days is when we really started to notice it. It was taking effect earlier than that, but you really start to see the grass across the street over here in my last video. The area that was treated on that test patch was about one and a quarter inches tall. The untreated was almost three inches tall and that was about 12 days after application or so, 12 to 14 days. So it really works, it's really effective and makes a huge difference. So let me explain how growth regulators work real quick. Basically, this is how your plant is right now. You have vertical growth, you have lateral growth, and you have root growth. When you, this is very, this is oversimplifying it, but basically when you apply a growth regulator, it inhibits a hormone that controls this, the vertical upward growth. So when we apply it, we actually shut down the vertical growth, but the rest of this actually continues. It's not that it accelerates it. It's not that it's so much that it accelerates any kind of crawling and spreading um, or makes it, makes it root more. It's just that this continues, everything else in the plant continues except for the vertical growth. You also have, um, I would call it more of a condensing of the leaves. So you have a pattern here where you have large leaves with stems coming up you're gonna see more of a condensed pattern. In other words, you're gonna get the leaves are gonna sort of, um, they're gonna sort of shrink up a little bit. It's gonna be tighter. When you look at it, it almost looks, let me put down my glasses. It almost looks like it's kind of matted a little bit when you're dealing with Bermuda grass. It really grows tight and it firms up. Matter of fact, they use it on golf courses and sports turf for that specific reason, because when you have divots and you have turf cleats digging on the turf, it actually toughens up the turf. And that's one thing you'll notice. Uh, yes, a uh, couple of questions people ask. Well, before I go there, you apply this every 30 days is basically what you're gonna do. So once you apply it, just mark it on your calendar. Every 30 days, go out and do another application. It's very simple. There's really no crazy science to this. 
But if you happen to shut it off or not apply it at the 30 day mark, what you're going to get is you are going to get a growth surge. So you're going to get this, this plant is sitting there and it has all this energy, carbohydrates, has all this energy reserved up. When the, those hormones start to produce again, you're going to get a growth surge. And so your grass is going to grow really fast. So just be aware of that. So you want to keep this up every 30 days. You want to put down your application. Um, again, it's here. You take it off. It's going to go into a growth surge and then it's going to come back down back to normal again approximately 60 days before the cold weather moves in you probably should shut this off and let the grass just do its natural thing to get ready for winter the blades or the 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 way that the grass will look so if this is how your grass normally looks what you're actually going to see is you're going to see something like this you're actually going to see it's going to be smaller and it's going to be tighter so you're actually going to have a tighter looking grass um, it is going to, sometimes you will see, a lot of times you'll see a little bit of darkening, so it gets uh, darker green, or it just has that, it just sort of tightens up and has, it just turns a little bit more dark green. I'm not going to get into the science of it, but yes, you may get a little darker green. Uh, there has been some indications that if you use this in shaded areas, that it can help. In other words, the energy is not being put into the upward growth, but it's actually spreading it, it's actually continuing both this lateral and root growth. So it can help in shaded areas. I'm back there testing it. I don't know that it'll do a tremendous amount, but I'll let you know my results. So yes, it can help with some shaded areas, but again, you can't replace sunshine with Bermuda. Bermuda has to have sunlight, but it can help a little bit. Morning. Can you tell it's early? <laughs> it's like uh, 6.30 in the morning. But let me tell you what I'm doing real quick. I'm not going to drag this out. I want to put out a light coat of growth regulator right now uh, because the lawn is completely soaked and there's a nice dew all over the top. This is the perfect time to put out the growth regulator. Reason being is it's going to, oh, there's a frog in the pool. That's what she's after. The reason being is um, it's going to attach itself to the grass and it'll have a foliar transfer before it works down to the base both are equally effective so here's the other reason why i like to do it this time it's not just because of this application method but also see the marks i can precisely put this out evenly which is really cool i can follow my tracks okay so i've got these slots very very small i mean they're like tiny and that's how i'm going to do my first application six pounds 12 pounds. So, this is why it's so important to measure out what you're putting out at that spreader setting i thought i was going to be putting out half the rate no i was putting out the full rate so i ended up having to go get the bag again and i ended up putting four gallons which is 24 pounds back here which actually is about perfect for this so what i thought was going to be the light rate and this is what i recommend Try and put it out at half rate. I mean, the hole is going to be tiny, <laughs> tiny, eighth of an inch. I was over eighth of an inch. So go one eighth of an inch. But let me show you why I do this in the morning. I know this probably doesn't make sense, but basically I came here, went down the middle, and came over here. Then I came, you can see my lines. I went straight down here, kept a good spacing here, kept a good spacing here, kept a good spacing here kept a good spacing here came over here again this may not make sense but I basically came in around came in turned and did a little circle here so I have a line here and then I have a line here yes I let it get into my plants over here big deal now one thing I'm testing here is a triple application in the shade because there is some evidence that it'll help in shade circumstances 
So I did a one, two, three, I just kept going here real heavy. Um, I did a light coat, a week and a half coat on my green. Um, so I'm just not doing that again, but same thing. I can see my tracks. I went around the green the outside then came back and did another one and I walked over here and then I got to here and I know that I started that I was doing here so basically I turned it on and I went up I came down I went back around I came in here hit this area and came back up hit that area and then shut it off so it's not just about having this stuff attach itself in a foliar manner to the grass which is a good way to do it um, it's about the clarity of application <laughs> did i treat this spot or not treat this spot that's why i really like the dew application is great so this is going to sit on the foliage for the next two or three hours i shouldn't have any rain and then if i do get some rain it's going to sit in the thatch right on the base layer now the base of the plant is where the transfer of this is very effective. It's like a 50% transfer once it's at the base. Roots, no. This product does not dissolve. <laughs> this stays in a solid form and transfers the chemical. That's important to understand. It is scorching hot out here. <laughs> it still amazes me how Bermuda grass can take this heat, you know, 95 degrees scorching hot at a half an inch and just be beautiful. So one of the other edit added benefits of growth regulator is you do get some tolerance to drought and to some of this heat. And why is that? It's because a lot of the energy is not being used for vertical growth. So the energy that would normally have to be shut off and it sort of go a little bit dormant during these periods, it's not using that. It's just sort of sitting there with these stored up reserves. So. Uh, again, there have been studies that show it does improve resistance to um, a damage from drought conditions as well, too. So all around, it's a good product to use. Again, if your lawn is healthy, put it on. Uh, feel free to use it. Just learn how to use it. There's a link below. And that's about it. Talk to you later. Die.